I would sure love to climb that monstrosity of a tasty mountain. What's up guys? Welcome back to Jay Rue Productions. Today we're finally going to take a look at Arby's brand new limited time only Mount Italy Sandwich. But before we get into that, let's talk a little bit about safety precautions. Considering Monday, it's finally the solar eclipse. No, it's not the apocalypse. It is the solar eclipse. Make sure you guys buy the right equipment, which is certified lenses, which blocks the UV, harmful UV rays, so you could look at an extended period of time. No, you cannot wear regular sunglasses or super dark sunglasses. You can't even look at it through binoculars or your, or your smartphone or cameras. But what you can do is buy substitution, which are these welding lenses, but it has to be class grade 12 or higher. And I looked recently on Amazon, the prices are ridiculous, guys. I called almost all the stores around. Nobody has it, it's all sold out. So I'm relying on friends, hook me up with a pair. Um, when it started out, it was like $1.99 and continue to gradually increase prices. Now it's like $49.95 for a pair of three or $100. And one dollars for a pair of ten, but why do I need so many pairs, yo? So people are definitely buying it and reselling it for the price just to make a profit. It's very shameful because people like me, you know, who don't have a pair and I really need a pair. That's just not right. It's ruining the events. You see what happens during a solar eclipse is that the moon travels in a path that's going to cover up the sun. Now the moon is roughly about 600 times smaller than the sun, but during the solar eclipse it appears to be the same size because it also happens to be like 650 million miles away I believe the sun. So even with that distance, if you look at it directly for a standard period of time, let's say for more than even 20 seconds, you want that much retina. You guys will read stories all over on the internet. It is the truth, it is the fact. So make sure you protect your eyes, guys. All right, now that we are all schooled up on the scientific facts of the solar eclipse, Let's go ahead and take a look at the sandwich. Hopefully it'll be another life altering experience, right? Check it out. Arby's knows the meat craft, and here is the brand new sandwich. It kind of reminds me a little bit like the uh, meat mountain, but just a little bit smaller. Let's go ahead and dissect this, shall we? All right guys, here is the awesome new Mount Italy. It basically features every single Italian meat from Arby's. It consists of the Genoa salami, Italian pork loin, and the pit smoked ham. But in addition to that, it's also topped with provolone cheese, banana peppers, lettuce, red onions, tomato, garlic aioli sauce, and red wine vinaigrette. So all those ingredients pretty much resembles the um, stuff you find in Italian restaurants, you know? There you see the special signature bun, plenty of meat piled up, garlic aioli all the way out. Yeah, I see all those three ingredients, plenty of protein, banana peppers, onions, tomato. It's a little bit messy though, so it's a little bit messy, so expect to be, you know, a little bit messy. You guys are going to need plenty of napkins. Alright guys, here we go, finally getting to this. I'm tasting the red vinaigrette right off the bat. Tangy, garlic aioli sauce, creamy a little bit. Banana pepper spicing things up, adding a little bit of heat. I love the Italian combination of the protein. But the bun can be a little bit better. It's, see how messy it is? 
it might it needs to be a little bit thicker maybe put like a pretzel bun make it more exciting soak up all that all that juice all right guys check out the final verdict is finally in it's definitely a tasty sandwich i really like the taste of the three combination italian meat it just fits well because it's kind of like if you order a pizza you got to have those three specific meat and it blends well and this definitely fits that bill the red wine vinaigrette definitely makes the sandwich stand out but unfortunately the bun is a little bit weak in the cell banana peppers definitely adds that nice tangy spiciness kind of like adding jalapenos to a pepper to a pizza i mean but um the bun if they could just improve on that and maybe lower it to like a dollar less 5.99 i think it'll be a proper price for a debut sandwich It'll be extra credit in my books. So on a scale of 100%, I'm hooked this up with a 85%. Go check it out. Well, make sure you check out the Solo Eclipse because it doesn't happen often. So make sure you protect your eyes. As always, eat hard, work out harder. Hey man, look at all this meat. Here is a proper piece for Kira. Look at you. Salivating already, Kira? Salivating? Get it? Yes. Oh, almost tripped, huh? Almost fell, almost fumbled the football.